From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big weekend and a big afternoon as the month of October starts and the third quarter ends and big stimulus is abound. We'll go over that massive MSCs, more than $2,000 a month over six months, massive stimulus. ISCs, inflation relief stimulus checks, landing in millions of American bank accounts. We'll go over the latest details in today's recording. Then, next up, FSCs, federal stimulus checks, $300,000 for you to get. And viewers are getting it, and it's for you. It's for the federal government, and we'll go over the latest details on what you need to know to get those incredible checks in this recording today. Next, LSCs, lifetime stimulus checks, the raise of your benefits. And we have major details about the raise of your benefits and that October 13th countdown, the announcement of the CPI-W for the month of September. But yesterday we had the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index give you an indication of how much your benefits are going to go up. I have a breaking news on that as well. On this weekend edition of Afternoons, we'll be recapping what's going on with the housing market, the crypto market, the stock market, and the bond market. A recession's underway. Inflation has not gone away, and the Federal Reserve has made very clear its policy. But are people getting it right? And why are they still going on a, under a false narrative? And how is that hurting respective markets? And what does it mean for your wallet? We'll go over everything you need to know in today's recording. Meantime, we'll go over now that the financial cliff has started and we are in the month of September, going into the month of October, what does it mean next for your money? What will that stimulus stampede mean? Will there be more competition for stimulus? I'll have my analysis in the big second half. It's a major recording today. One hour, massive stimulus in the big second half. Make sure you stay to the second half. I'm going to go over thousands and thousands of dollars of checks for you. You need to get those incredible checks. Stay with this video, become a member, and get ready for those big amounts of money heating up in today's recording. The breaking news all on today's Afternoons LA. Your economy, your recession, your inflation, your benefit raise, and of course, your unemployment and your poor stimulus. The breaking news starts right here, right now, on a big afternoon of Afternoons Alight. And good afternoon, everybody. It's a big weekend as we go into the month of October. And the economy is different across the board because of the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve announced those interest rate spikes, but not just for the rest of this year, not just for next year, but into 2024. This was a shocker to people not here on this channel, but elsewhere. They're expecting one more interest rate spike. Nope. The rest of this year, all of next year, and the year after that. It caused major implosions on the research on the earnings recession front as well. And those were felt on the end of the week with Apple and, of course, uh, INT, Intel. We'll have the latest details on that as well. Plus, the raise of your benefits, massive raise of your benefits now happening because October 13th is the announcement. And we had a major shocker of great news on Friday, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, which gave us an indication about where inflation's going and what you need to do. And that incredible news is heating up in this recording. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP, and get ready for these incredible checks that come to you via the LA newsletter. And we'll go over all those incredible checks in the big second half. And welcome to the nearly 100 new members that have joined in the last 24 hours. But it's a big weekend edition, and we start first with the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve, we all knew, was going to do an interest rate spike in the month of September. And I had been reporting since the month of July that the Federal Reserve is going to raise rates for the rest of this year into next year. Why do we know this? Because the Federal Reserve had said that with the Fed governors. But Wall Street betted against it. And betting against things has not worked well for the rest of this economy this year. People betting against recession, betting against inflation, betting against the Federal Reserve, betting against the housing market. Every time they did it, they lost. 
And every time you went with the data, you won. And we'll go over the latest details starting right now. But first, that massive stimulus. Massive stimulus is now available for Americans everywhere. Millions and billions of dollars at landing. And we're going to go over all those incredible checks in this recording. What you need to do is do the following. One. Promise yourself you stay in the big second half because that's where those checks are. You need to watch the whole video. Number two, take notes. And number three, become a member. Here's an overview of what we're going to cover in today's recording. There is now lots of MSC, monthly stimulus checks, more than $2,000 a month over six months. Those monthly stimulus checks now amount to several different categories. First, ISEs, inflation relief stimulus checks. Next, federal relief stimulus checks, and third, lifetime stimulus checks. And you likely qualify for all of those, and I'm going to go over each of them in just a second. The reason you need to get this money is coming up also in the big second half, my opinion of the situation, my analysis. There's going to be a massive stimulus stampede. You're never going to see a more severe part of this economy than ever before. And what I'm going to make very clear to you in the big second half today is that People understood how bad the lockdown was, and they saw the federal government take care of them. This is going to be different. Federal government is not going to take care of you the way it did before. And many people thought that the lockdown would end in a short period of time, and eventually did. This recession is going to go into 2024. It's going to be two years of recession. I was the first to report this. I was the first to predict a recession in February of this year. Two years. You need lots of stimulus. You need lots of stimulus, and you need to get it today. You don't need to wait. And we have a new campaign on this channel. It's called Hashtag Stand for Stimulus. Tell your friends and family, come on over and get that stimulus, because I care about them. I want to make sure you get all this money now before the situation gets worse. All right, let's go over what is the situation right now. Inflation. On Friday, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index was released. It's an inflationary benchmark. Tells you where inflation is. It's a great benchmark. I love it. We fe featured a lot on this channel. Why do we like it? Because it comes about two weeks before the CPI, CPI-W, PPI, and the retail sales. And it generally tells you exactly where that number is going to go. And this number was really not impacted by what the Federal Reserve did this week, because this is a number that was impacted on events before the Federal Reserve acted. What did it show? Inflation went up. Inflation went up, and this is huge news for you on your benefits, because your benefits are determined by three months of data, and the final month of data just ended. July, August, and September. And you and I have been analyzing this over the last month. We'll go over this massive lifetime stimulus in just a second. But first, let's go over this breaking news of where this inflationary number came in on Friday. This personal consumption expenditure index surged dramatically. And it basically showed that the economy is not slowing down. That personal consumption expenditure index showed that it rose on both the core and also the headline number. Why is that? The reason is because gasoline is tracking higher. This morning when I was coming into the studio, I was looking at the gasoline prices, and there we went. The gasoline prices back to $7 at the pump. Yes, back to $7 a pump here in Los Angeles again. That's because the gasoline prices, if you're a member of this channel, you're seeing them go up about 10 cents a day once again. They're not going to go down. So what did this personal consumption expenditure index show us? It showed that inflation went up. Now, yes, this PCE is for the month of August, not September, but it's generally indicative of what that CPI-W for the month of September will look like when it's released on October 13th. The other major breaking news that we were dealing with on Friday, of course, is the major announcement from Apple and also from Nike. First, Apple. Apple, no less than two months ago, was projected to have the highest number of record sales of their iPhone this holiday season. Demand was reportedly still there, even though the economy is slowing. And yet, that looked like it was going to be the narrative until early this week, and then confirmed by Friday that it's completely the opposite. The result was Bank of America downgrading Apple after it said that there will not be demand for the iPhone sales, and that the Revenue forecasts from Apple looking totally different across the board. It also came on the day when news of Nike saying that they're not going to have enough shoes for the holiday season. They get their shoes from overseas, and those shoes are having supply chain disruptions. Still, yes, there's still supply chain disruption. We also learned this week that widespread hiring freezes are growing. 
Uber and Lyft. Lyft is actually now not employing any more people, hiring any more people, and they actually have a hiring freeze. What a dramatic change, because just two months ago, they had a bonus because they couldn't get people into the cars. Totally different situation left and right. What is the impact of all this massive earnings recession on the economy right today? The impact of this earnings recession on this economy is very broadly felt. We have not had a single day in the last few weeks where you do not see companies going down 3% of valuation in one day. 3% of stock valuation down in 24 hours, folks, that is catastrophic. And how bad are we right now? I want to make this very clear how seriously bad this is. If I was to pull up a chart and you were going to tell me, well, how low are we for the year? In the case of some stocks, we are the lowest of the year, the lowest of last year, lower than 2019. We're lower than pre-pandemic. We're actually into 1990s numbers. Yes, some stocks are actually now so low, they're posting numbers they haven't seen since the 1990s. That's the valuations of many, many stocks. Now, we've had stock movements before in the stock markets, but if I was to show you these charts, it literally looks like a free fall, straight down. Look at my hand, it's straight down. It's not like this, it's literally straight down. In less than 21 days. And you and I knew this was gonna happen. Why did we know this was gonna happen? Because I was reporting this back in February this year. I said in recession, which we all knew we were going to have because I was the first to record it, you see stocks go down 50%, at least. And stocks are only down 20%, 12%. And the situation today is just getting started. Two years more of recession, yes. Many stocks are now seeing levels they have not seen in nearly a decade. And the situation could be far worse. Now, let's jump over to the impact of this felt across the board. It's the Federal Reserve. And the Federal Reserve has made very clear in the last 21 days that they are raising interest rates. Wall Street, for reasons you and I never understood, was not understanding what the Federal Reserve was saying. Or they were hearing it, but betting against it. Wall Street was saying Federal Reserve is going to do one interest rate spike and call it quits. I said, this is dangerous. I said, this is dangerous. Now, of all my predictions that I have made on this channel over the last two years as the channel's been around and have all been correct, I think this is the most important prediction. I was the first to report and predict that inflation was going to hit an 8% in December of last year. I was the first to predict a recession in 2020, uh, in 2023. I report, I predicted in early to, earlier this year. I was first to report that the Federal Reserve was going to do 75 basis point increases and raise interest rates all the way into middle next year. And I was the first to report this fact, that the efforts of Wall Street analysts to get people to buy stocks in the month of May, June, and July, trading up the stocks then by telling you a false narrative that that the Federal Reserve was going to stop raising rates in October, was going to crash the markets. When I said it, I didn't mean it as severe as it is right now, but it has happened. This, again, was very easy to predict. Why could you do this as well? The markets went to assess risk, and they had not assessed the risk of the Federal Reserve doing this. As you sit here today, what are the risks that you need to assess for you and your family and your financial livelihood across the board? You need to assess the risk of losing anything in your household that is based upon debt. So if you have anything with an adjustable rate debt, like a car loan or a house payment, or anything that uh, like credit card debt, you have the fear that you're going to lose that item if you cannot afford it. Number two, you have to fear that if you have a job, you could lose the job and that there won't be another available job. Number three, you got to fear that you're fine, but the whole community around you falls apart financially. And that fear, that risk needs to be embedded in your livelihood on a regular basis. So where are we right now? You got to get that incredible stimulus. You got to get that incredible stimulus. And that is the way you hedge against risk. That is the way you predict you buffer against risk. There's a risk on the horizon. There's a risk on the horizon that's really right in front of you that I've been talking about all year. And the way you pivot away from that risk, the way you avoid that risk, is you prepare with stimulus in your pocket. Lots of it. If you don't, you're walking right into the risk, unprepared, 
and the risk is going to devour you. So let's get some incredible stimulus. You ready? Let's do it. The first incredible stimulus is brand new. It's called inflation relief stimulus checks. These inflation relief stimulus checks are nice. They're about $1,000 or less. Not a lot. It's enough to pay you the bills for a week or a month. And most states have them. Where do you get them? They're in the membership newsletter. Down in the membership newsletter at check D, as in donut, you go right in there. You It sends you to the link. Then it gives you a breakdown of all the respective states. It tells you the amount. And then actually has a link to the respective state where they're running. It tells you when the check is coming. Here's what you need to know. Most states are doing it, but the checks are not very big, about $1,000 or less. And there's actually a place to track the check, but you generally have to have filed a tax return. You can file a tax return, even if you don't have to, you can voluntarily file it. And it all takes a few seconds to file that tax return and get that incredible check. It's about $1,000 or less. Now, $1,000 ain't going to pay your bills a long time. $1,000 is not going to help you buffer or pivot against the risk. What is? Federal stimulus checks. Federal stimulus checks, which I have gotten for viewers on this channel for a very long time. I've gotten viewers $20 million on this channel. No broadcasting financial news network in America has done more for Americans than me and this family. And these incredible checks started growing in March when viewers said, I think there's a problem happening. You just told me there's a recession coming in LA. This is March. They said, go get some checks. And I found them. The first three checks, A, B, and C. Today, we're at 300 checks. <laughs> 300 checks, about $300,000. And let's look at those incredible checks right now. You ready? I'm excited. Those incredible checks are federal stimulus checks, FSC. Do you hear what I'm saying? FSC. So when I say federal, it means it's from the federal government, the Congress, the president. And let's look at those incredible FSCs right now. The first three passed by the President of the United States in the month of March, and they're absolutely incredible. They're absolutely incredible. They are checks A, B, and C. And they were followed up by other checks thereafter. Here we go. You ready? Let's look at those incredible checks. A, B, and C passed by the President of the United States in the month of March. They're huge, and you qualify. Again, this is federal stimulus by the President of the United States. And it's just incredible. About $100,000. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it. If you have children, if you don't have children, go get it. It's absolutely incredible. Those first three checks, A, B, and C, we're going to go over in just a second. Then came along Congress. And Congress, in breaking news, passed more checks, E through K. Seven more categories, bringing us to hundreds of checks. Still, FSCs passed. And thereafter, I found more checks for you, L&M, N&O, P&Q, for members, for members of this incredible channel, the Purple Power family. The Purple Power family now, by becoming members, are getting 300 checks, about $300,000, and it's absolutely incredible FSC, federal stimulus. How do you get it? You become a member. You get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down in the newsletter and apply for those incredible checks. What are they? A through Q. We're going to go over each of them in just a second. Now, that, my friends, is so far FSC. We went over ISC, and then we went over FSC. Now, let me pause for a second. I've had this channel for two years, and I know that I see trends and, and, and ebbs and flows, but one thing I see too much of, and I think we need to stop it really quickly right now, so please do not ask this question, is a check in my state. This is from the federal government. Let's explain how the U.S. How the US works. In the United States, we have states and we have the federal government. The federal government has a wallet of cash. The states have a wallet of cash. The states can send out wallets of money to you, or wads of money to you, and the federal government can send you wads of money to you. When I am discussing money from the federal government coming from the federal government, do not ask, is it available in your state? It has nothing to do with where you live. You can live in this state, you can live in that state. It's from the federal government. So when I say FSC from the federal government, you don't have to ask, is it in available in my state? It's not from your state. I know a lot of people are proud of where you live. This is not a time to be proud of where you live. It's from the federal government, and you need to listen to it because this is the type of money that's going to help you survive this recession. All right, the third type of stimulus is LSE. LSE, a lifetime stimulus checks, and that is the ratio of benefits. 
These are going to be absolutely incredible. These lifetime stimulus are huge because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Let's go over an example. Let's say your benefits get raised 9%. That's a raise not just this year, but lifetime. 9% of more money. And this is teeing up for October 13th. This is huge, monstrous sums of money. So where are these checks? How do they work? How do I get them? Very, very simple. Step one, you become a member. Go around this video, become a member. Welcome to the nearly 50 members a day and nearly 100 members every 20, 48 hours. You need to become a member right today. And I mean to make very clear to you, today, you can't wait because there is going to be massive problems with this economy. They're currently growing very quickly. People are going to be storming the site. This site's going to take off. And you're going to ask, oh, do you still have that money? And I don't know what the answer will be then. Because you get the money when it's available. You don't wait for a stimulus stampede to compete against this money for you. You go into this video and stay the big second half as we go over all these incredible checks one at a time. Now, the other breaking news we're dealing with today is the impact of this economy on everything that the Federal Reserve has done in the last few days. Let's go over what's going on and what you need to know left and right. The Federal Reserve raising those rates has impacted so many swaths and factions and sections of the U.S. economy that it's very severe. Number one, housing market is fully underway in a massive recession. Existing home starts down, new home starts down, builder confidence down, no one's building. And more importantly, can't sell the home. So the price of the homes are being slashed dramatically. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, you and I know this really well because we work on it together on this channel. When the mortgage rate was 3% heading to 6% for just, you know, a few days in August, I told you the housing market was a recession. I told you the housing market was a recession in July when the, when the mortgage rate was really still not that bad. And then what happened? I predicted the mortgage rate, the 30-year mortgage rate, was going to go 7% by the end of the year. It went to 7% by the end of the month. You know what I'm about to say. Yeah. The housing market was really bad when the mortgage rate was 3% going to 6%. Now it's 7%. And where am I predicting this mortgage rate to end by the end of the year? 8%. Imagine how bad bad the housing market's going to be then. Now, you may not own a home. You may not rent a home. You may not be in a, You may be in an apartment. But here's what you need to know. The collapse of the housing market collapses a major swath of the U.S. economy. And it impacts labor. It impacts uh, those subcontractors. It impacts material providers, jobs, everything. And when that housing market collapses and goes away and is no longer robust, that is a major impact on the economy. Next part of the economy being impacted, we just went over, the second part we went over a second ago earlier, is the stock market. Now, the stock market's not down, you know, 5% or 6%, you know, down for the week. It's down to levels we've not seen since 1990. Many of the stocks like Intel are, are, are just horrible. I mean, look at Ford. Ford featured uh, under the ticker of this channel, usually was about trading at $11. Where's Ford to go? Where's Ford going to go? To $4? Ford hasn't seen $4 since the 1990s as a stock price. Yeah, this is very, very serious situation, folks. This is not like it's down a little bit. It's going to rebound in, in two days. This is a very serious situation. Let's go over the bond market. The bond market surging to the highest levels we've seen since the 19, uh, since about 2010. The two-year treasury note, I predicted, would go to 4%. It has. And the 10-year note going higher as well. This all signals that the economy is flipped over. And finally, crypto. All those crypto channels that told you to buy that crypto. And I stopped recording crypto for exactly that reason, because there was nothing to really buy. It is important to understand, although I do bring back crypto to explain you how to trade it now, is that crypto valuations are gone. There's no value in crypto anymore. If you're looking to buy and hold it to the end of the year, if you're looking to hold it for 10 years, yeah, maybe. But Bitcoin will end the year under ten, under twenty thousand dollars, and Ethereum will end the year under thousand dollars, and this is no valuation because the valuation is imploding left and right. Finally, the labor market. The labor market is growing with more unemployment per day. That's what happens later recession. Unemployment picks up across the board. So, what does this mean collectively for you? It means it's a wake up call. It means everything you and I had discussed on this channel was correct. 
I had said it back in February that there was going to be a financial cliff in September. That financial cliff would mean you're walking along singing a song and suddenly, oops, you fall off the cliff because you did not realize that something changed across the board. That happened in a magnitude that I had said would happen. The financial cliff hit and then suddenly everyone's stock valuations were gone. They had no value. The stocks imploded. The bond market went the other direction. The housing market imploded. Industry after industry imploding, and we're just getting started. Do you see the importance of getting stimulus? Do you see the importance of getting that stimulus? So let's get some stimulus. Let's get some big stimulus right now. You want to go over the first three checks? Let's go over the first three of those 300 FSCs starting right now. Again, those first three checks were passed by Joe Biden by executive action. They are federal stimulus. And let's look at those incredible first three checks right now. They are checks A, B, and C. Those incredible first checks, A, B, and C, are huge. Here we go. Let's jump into check A right now. It's $6,500 to $12,000. It's a wonderful check that viewers spell got. Now, $12,000, look how much better that is than an ISC. $12,000, how long would $12,000 pay your bills for you? Three months? Six months? It's a lot of money. And this is the weatherizing grant. How do you get this incredible money? Step one, become a member. Go right on this video, become a member. Then go down the membership newsletter, which says check A. Click the link and it sends you right into the members, right into check A's application. For check A, you apply online. And for check A, the app, online application is all featured, the link in the membership newsletter. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get check B. Check B, you apply online for as well. And how do you apply for it online? In the membership newsletter. Check B is fifteen dollars to $80,000. It's a force must check in every U.S. state, and it's absolutely incredible. The success stories of Check B are abounds. Lots of viewers on this channel have gotten nearly $100,000 from Check B. Here's Frank Mancuso. Check B, 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high-speed internet. We had another viewer out of Florida who got, for Check B, nearly $100,000. She got 18 months of about five checks a month. That is Check B. Again, become a member. Go down the membership newsletter where it says Check B, click the link, and apply for Check B online. You apply for A, B, and C all in the membership newsletter. In fact, you apply for all of them in the membership newsletter. Now, let's go to Check C. Check C has been on this channel for a very long time. It's for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, more. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it in the membership newsletter. Twelve places to reach out to. 12 places to reach out to for 80 checks. Imagine the opportunities I give you for a mere few dollars of a membership benefit. Now, let's look at the incredible success stories that viewers have had it for Check C. Let's look at them right now. Do you want $30,000 for rent? Go get some Check C. <laughs> look at those great success stories. From Nisi and Elizabeth and Richard and Nancy, just great job, folks. Keep on doing that. And here's some success stories for utilities. Look at that. Nancy, wow. Uh, Lynn Glenn last week, 12 months of utilities. Great job, Lynn Glenn. Another viewer, 12 months of utilities. Two viewers, 14 months of rent. Here's Snap. Mark's brother-in-law getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years. Combinations. Nieces at 22,000. She went to 50,000. Mark was at 32,000. He's at 166,000 so far because he got checked me at 66,000. Here's Lorraine. She was at 105 and she went to 155. Now, these, my friends, are just the first three checks. We're just getting started. We are just getting started. In the big second half, we got more checks. That is check A, B, and C. We just went over. We got A through E, Q in the big second half. Plus, we'll be looking at that lifetime of stimulus. And we'll be looking at that ISC as well. We got massive money coming up in the big second half. And it's all for you. You need to get it. And I'll have my commentary coming up in that second half as well. Become a member. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Afternoon's Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. 
volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with Ally for more. Join LA Light Daily for the excitement of the new LA Light Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Light at 9 a.m. Home LA Light returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late. And the excitement continues in a big second half from the shores of Santa Monica, California on a beautiful afternoon's weekend edition. This is why you can't miss the weekend editions of this channel because it's always breaking news and it's always brand new. I'm welcoming you back on a beautiful weekend, which is a little bit cooler on the coast and I'm loving it. I hope you're having a beautiful day as well. How are you? Are you ready for more checks? I'm ready for more checks. Did you become a member during the commercial break or already a member or renewing your membership? Make sure you do. You ready? Let's do it. After those first three checks, A, B, and C, passed by the President of the United States in, by executive action in March, Congress came along, and they did checks E through K. Those incredible checks E through K passed by Congress are FSCs as well, federal stimulus checks, and they're absolutely incredible. Now, the reason why I like these is because they're big sums of money. There's a lot of different things for a lot of different purposes, and you qualify. All right, let's look at those incredible Checks E through K starting right now. E is about $7,500. F, $4,000 for vehicle. G, 30% off. H, $2,000. Wow. That's for also for some appliances around the home. Uh, I and J, both $8,000 and $8,000. And then K, $14,000. And I love it because in there you got money for a brand new refrigerator, a brand new washer dryer, you got home repairs, you got stuff for a car, you got stuff for everything in that E through K, just huge. Now after that, I found more checks for you, and here we go. You ready for the next rounds of FSCs? Here they are, L and M. L is $100,000 on average of loan interest free money, incredible, for the purchase of a brand new home. Then M, $4,000 of free grant money, all for you, closing costs. And is one of my favorite stimulus items. It's free internet. It's free internet, but it gets it better than that. $100 towards a brand new computer, a laptop, or tablet. Can you imagine? Most great tablets are less than $100, so this is beautiful. Brand new tablet, computer, or desktop, and free internet. And that's stimulus N. I love that. At stimulus O, we have zero down payment, zero closing costs, and no... Uh, Ins uh, no insurance required and no credit check for a brand new home. And then stimulus P and Q is a whopping $8,000 of grant money all for you to keep. And then a 3% down if you want to refi or do something similar across the board. Look how wonderful that is. That is absolutely incredible. So the totality so far of FSCs is the largest check, $100,000. Smallest check, $8,000. It's from the federal government, so you all qualify. It's in every U.S. state because it's from the federal government. It's not from your state. And the fastest routing time is routing time is about three days, two days. One viewer, Johnny, got $45,000 in two days. Starting on Monday, by Wednesday, he got $45,000. By Friday, he had $85,000. And it's just incredible. We have Dragon, who was at 140,000, got another 30,000. He went to 170, 170,000. We have Lorraine, who is a 105. Now she's 150,000. We have Johnny, who with him and his mom and dad each got 50, 50, uh, 80. So that's 180,000 right there. Then he helped his neighbors and friends. They got 250,000. It was a couple. It was about two dozen people. We have Mark, who's at 166000 I'm sure Mark is getting more money. We have Nisi, who's uh, clearly over 50000 These are all success stories that can be you. What you need to do is the following. Go into this video, become a member. Join the channel. Subscribe. And then watch the videos throughout the day. Make sure you see all the breaking news. 
on afternoons at three o'clock and evenings at five o'clock and mornings at 9 a.m. and on live uh, throughout the day in the live stream. Make sure you see the breaking news because the economy is changing so dramatically by the minute you can't miss a recording because you're going to get hit by that financial cliff if you do. And then dedicate the rest of your day to getting these great sums of money. And there you go. Now, the other thing that's really important to remember is the membership newsletter also has in there the worksheets. The worksheets are a series of pages around the third line of the newsletter for you to print out for your cell phone or computer. And they're great to keep track of all the incredible stimulus you can apply for. Here are the worksheets. Have you been using them? I bet you have. Uh, what do we know about the first page of the worksheet today? Inflation. So inflation is not going down says that Personal Consumption Expenditure Index released yesterday, PCE. And the next number, around October 13th, that CPI-W, which actually is October 13th, uh, which will be that CPI-W for the month of September. Recession. We're underway with a recession. Two negative quarters of GDP growth have been posted. But you know what we just, what we just did? We just ended the third quarter. So we're going to see any moment whether the third quarter was also negative GDP growth. I'm looking for that uh, Atlanta or Philadelphia Fed tracker uh, that we used at the end of the second quarter, and it was accurate. It has a 99% accuracy to tell us if we had a, neg if we had a negative GDP quarter. Gre again, labor will be falling apart. Federal Reserve raising rates into 2024. Now, the next page of the worksheet is a place to keep track of all the incredible stimulus you are applying for. Have you become a member yet? I mean, what are you waiting for? Go under this video, join this channel right now, and get all these incredible sums of checks. Here you go. It's a wonderful table for you to keep track of all the checks you're going to be applying for. You, you got to dedicate yourself to this. you got to help your family. you got to help yourself. And when I made this table, this is all unique to LA. You're not going to see this anywhere else. The table only has about 20 rows. Well, now there's 300 checks. Let's go over those checks again. A, one check, one category. B, about 80 checks. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's 80 checks in that check B. Because the average view of this channel is getting 18 months of about five checks a month. The mortgage, the rent, and then those utilities, about four utilities a month. Check C is 80 checks, but with 12 places to reach out to get them. So that's a lot of great opportunity. 12 places, different places to get 80 checks. And then we have E to K and L all the way down to Q. Half of those are multiple checks. Half of them are one check. So you got to keep track of all the incredible checks. Just huge across the board. And with that, let me go to my final commentary today. My final commentary today is another prediction. Let's recap the predictions I have delivered on this channel over the last two years and my track record. First, I was the first, and for all these, I was the first and only person saying this in financial broadcasting. The very first. I said that the U.S. economy would suffer 8% inflation in December 2021. I said that in spring of 2021. Then, in February of this year, I said the U.S. economy would suffer a two-year recession. Then, I said that the Federal Reserve is not going to get inflation down because it's caused by supply chain disruption. I said that also in February. Next, I said over the summer that the failure of Wall Street to embed the risk into the markets of more interest rate spikes from the Federal Reserve past September is going to cause the markets to crash. And I have predicted the Federal Reserve to raise rates into next year. So, Along with those predictions, and also my prediction about the mortgage going to 7%, which it has, and the two-year note going to 4%, which it also has, I'm at 100% accuracy. So, what's my new prediction today? My new prediction today is a prediction about not the economy, but us. My prediction is that somewhere in around the next 90 or 60 days, you're going to see a flood of people showing up here. Showing up here because they're going to get hit by the recession. It's going to be the stimulus stampede. I'm predicting the stimulus stampede to hit in about 90 days. I don't believe the stimulus stampede is currently underway yet. Why? A series of reasons. I think that some people still have a little bit of comfort zone. 
I think a lot of people are really dipping into savings, which is, we ran that report on Friday. People are running up debt, and they think they can do that. They're running up debt. They're dipping in savings. Uh, they still may still have the job. They have not been laid off. Job, uh, job employment is still relatively good at the moment. We don't see massive layoffs. We don't have, see massive hiring freezes yet. And when that changes, when that pivots, my prediction is going to be very, it's going to be very quick. It's going to be a very, very quick change. And they're going to be here. I spoke to a builder uh, two days ago. And you know what he said? He, he, we were just briefly just sort of talking about the economy. And he said, you know, when we look at the, 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 the suppliers, the people who give you, you know, the nails and the hammers and things that go into building a structure and, and, and what that, he said, they're still running those massive prices. We all know, he said, we all know the lumber's come down. I mean, the, the, the price of wood has come back down to pre-COVID levels, we, but they're still charging those crazy inflationary prices. And yet they don't have to, he said. Yeah, we talked about this once before on this channel. They don't have to charge those crazy prices, but they are because they think they can get it from you. He followed up by saying, at one point, people will just stop not paying because they won't be able to afford it. This is what I'm talking about with the stimulus stampede. That there is that element still in this economy where people think they still can pay $5 for a gallon of milk, still can pay $7 for a loaf of bread, still can pay $7 for a gallon of gas. And at some point, it's going to be, I can't anymore. I can't anymore. I just, I financially cannot afford $5 for a gallon of milk anymore. We're really not at that point. Jump in the live chat right now, and I want to ask this real question. It's a hard question to ask, so make sure I phrase it right. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about your community. Would you say yes or no? Is your community yet at that point at which they say, I can't afford this stuff anymore. It's just, I'm over the brink. I'm over the brink. Or is the answer, no, they're not there yet. They're getting close. They're not there yet, but they're still paying the crazy milk, the crazy eggs, the crazy gasoline prices. And I don't know how they're affording it, but they're doing it, and it's not going to go on forever. So I want to ask, do you think they're still paying those crazy prices, or do you think they've given up and say, I can't do it anymore? My answer is exactly like the builder's answer. People are still paying those crazy prices, but we're really almost at the edge. And I do believe when you get to that edge in all factions of life, upper class, middle class, lower income, East Coast, West Coast, Northern, housing, crypto, auto, you know, uh, stocks, bonds, they're eventually going to say, can't do it. I can't do it anymore. And I think when that happens, they're going to be here. And I think that's going to happen in about 90 days. My opinion, and I want to see your reaction as well, that I think that the, the brick hitting the wall, the I can't pay these bills, these crazy inflationary prices anymore, it's going to hit in about 90 days. And then I think this channel is going to be totally different. Not me, not you, but suddenly you're going to see that COVID-like action. Remember those earliest days of COVID. Remember those earliest days of the pandemic here where, you know, I'd go on air and I'd say, I have some money for you. And the video would start. There'd be, there'd be 2,000 people in the video right away ready to get that money. You don't see that at the moment, obviously. You don't see 5,000 people right as the video starts saying, oh, I'm ready for the money. You have people sort of, sort of come in and sort of watch a video later in the day, sort of take their time. It's not an urgency situation for them yet. That's my prediction, that it's coming and it's about 90 days away. Do you agree? Do you think that that, that that real massive stampede is about 90 days away? Let's end with that question as well. How far away do you think that stimulus stampede is going to be? People swarming on this channel saying, you know, I'm in trouble. I need money. What, what stimulus do you have? Do you think it's 60 days away? Do you think it's 90 days away? Do you think it's a year away? I want to see your comments as well. And I also want to see you on evenings tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Remember, under the video, you can become a member, join this channel, and then get that membership newsletter. You can then go down and get those FSCs, federal stimulus checks, A through Q, from the U.S. government, 
the Congress and the President of the United States. Massive stimulus. That's the ones you want to get. Plus, you can learn about those ISCs. Good news for you. And you can also get that information about those LSC, the lifetime stimulus, the ratio of benefits, which I didn't cover too much in this video, but I'll be covering it more throughout the day and, of course, on evenings at 5 o'clock. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. You're ahead of the ball game, and that's how you do it. You're here getting the money before the stampede, and that's how you do it. But ultimately, I want us to understand when that stampede is coming, and I want to see your insight and your knowledge and your brilliance. And I look forward to seeing you later as e evenings, Ali, heats up at 5 o'clock.